the name of the new journal is called Fight of Frontiers and APS leadership is nimble enough not only to respond to market forces but also as a trendsetter. Historically, they have demonstrated these qualities. And the latest one, uh, the reason that they started it is because some of the institutions and funding agencies demand that the publications that, uh, that come out of the research that they fund are only published in gold open access journals. So to cater to the needs of those authors, APS decided to start Fight of Frontiers. There are a couple of distinguishing features. One is that it's open access. The other one is that, uh, and, and, and this is very important because our, uh, most of our other journals are not open access and some colleagues around the world are required to publish in open access journals. Um, another distinguishing feature is that this journal thrives uh, to publish all research that is rigorous, regardless of, of perceived impact. And then also, importantly, it publishes a lot of papers that are out of scope in the other journals, so it provides a new venue for our APS members to publish in. The type of papers that might not fit into the scope of the other journals include those that might be at the interface of food safety with plant pathology, and those that are plant stress-related abiotic stress disorders that aren't typically published in any of our other journals. And also um, those that, uh, that cover aspects of uh, sociological uh, plant pathology, uh, economic aspects of uh, plant pathology. So one type of article I think that would fit really well into Fight of Frontiers are virus papers that focus primarily on the description of sequences of new viruses and their comparison with existing viruses, but don't necessarily look at any biological aspects such as virus transmission or translocations. Another one might be uh, QTL mapping studies that look at host resistance genes and map those, but without necessarily looking at how the host resistance impacts disease epidemiology or host pathogen interactions, for example. I think for me, the most exciting part of this journal is that we can publish negative results or results that are perceived as having no impact. Because I think there is a real bias in, in, in modern science where only results that have uh, significant differences can be published and that completely biases the, the publication record. So I think this is, this is a major, very important step for our society.